Hi, I'm Lori from Dee's, and it's time to fall into the season. Today, we're going to spend time together creating this wonderful witch wreath. We're going to start out by making our base. My favorite products are the work wreath line of products. This is a wreath form. It's a wire wreath base that already has ties permanently affixed to the base. I think this is the quickest and easiest way to create your mesh wreath. But if you're not lucky enough to live by these, or if your craft store doesn't carry the work wreath line of products, you could always use a wire wreath form. Just like this. It's the double ring, and you could take a pipe cleaner or tinsel roping, which comes in lots of colors, and attach that to your work wreath form just like so, just like twisting a bread tie. Space them about every four or five inches around the outer ring and four to five inches on the inner ring. There's lots and lots of meshes to choose from and your witch can be whoever you would like. So today, I've chosen a black with an orange stripe. We are using the wide 21 inch mesh. It will take approximately an entire row, a 10 yard row, to create your witch. Starting out, what I like to do is just drop my roll. We're going to work with it in the width way. When I'm starting, I like to fold over. I like to fold over the top of my mesh to give me a nice little hem to start out with so I don't have the raw edges sticking out. So as you can see, all we're going to do is gather our mesh up just like so. And we're going to go up here on our wreath where we have our ties and we're going to lay our mesh in between the two ties and simply twist just like a bread tie. Don't worry about twisting a lot. These ties are going to be your best friend later on in our project. We're going to go about 8 to 10 inches. Simply gather up your mesh and lay it between the next set of ties. I always like to start on the inner ring first. Depending upon how big you make your loops, you will either have a little bit of a center left for your wreath or possibly it will be filled in. If you are making a jack-o'-lantern, you would like to fill in the middle space just so you have a place to add his face. I always like to tell people what a great product mesh is. This is great for indoor or out. It will withstand the weather. And it's a nice, cost-effective way to make a great statement in your decorating needs. So as you can see, this is a very easy and quick process. All we're doing is gathering and twisting our ties, and we're working our way around. So I'm just about to the end of the inside of my wreath. We've got this last tie here. We'll finish that off. So you've, fin you've already finished the inside of your wreath. So rather than cutting the mesh off, we like to just continue what we're doing and we're gonna go to the outside. So you've got your ties on the outside and we're simply gonna continue gathering at the same way we were before. And we're gonna go to our next set of ties on the outer ring. So as you can see, this is a quick and easy way to complete your base. We're just about there, just a couple more ties left. And then the fun will begin. I started out with a 30 inch wreath. 24s and 30s are very similar in size. I do like the 30s when doing the witch because we have such large attachments that we are going to put in. We're over to our last tie on our wreath and I'm just going to put this right in here. Now, once I get to the end of my circle, I like to trim off my mesh and I'll leave it a little bit long and we're just gonna cut right across here. And then I'll take this end and just tuck it back up into the next section where we started. 
And there you have it. Your base is done. Quick and easy, right? Now let's get started having fun. Today we're going to create the Wicked Witch. What I like to do when I start out is I have chosen some ribbon. These are some very fun ribbons that we've got. We have a polka dot and we have a stripe. I've chosen a wider ribbon and a narrow ribbon just to give a little more texture and dimension to our project. Remember when I was saying that our ties are going to be our best friend? Let me show you why. We're going to take our ribbon and simply catch it right in between our two ties and twist our ties again. And that holds our ribbon right in place. I love using wired ribbon because it tends to stand up and make a beautiful statement, but any ribbon will work. So we're just going to kind of catch it. I like to pull my ribbon like so and kind of let it do its own thing. It'll guide you where it wants to be. When you're traveling around the wreath with your ribbon, you could even go and make a couple of loops just to add a little more fuss. And we're just going to catch that right in our ties like so. And again, you're just twisting, just like you're twisting the bread top. We'll add a couple more loops to this side. And all we're doing is just twisting the ribbon, holding it in our hand, and just laying it right in between the ties like so. We're going to go right up here and we're going to end our ribbon and just catch it right in here in our ties. We'll trim our ribbon. Now I prefer V cuts in my ribbon. So all you do is fold your ribbon in half and you angle your scissors upward and you have a great V cut. Now we could stop right here and you'd have a great wreath for the season. But, you know me, why stop there? First, let's put our hat on. This is just a black, this is just a black witch hat that you can purchase at D's or, you know, if you're not lucky enough, go to your local craft store. So what I'm going to do, because this is a hollow hat, I'm going to take a little bit of bubble wrap or if you have tissue paper or newspaper at home, just to make our hat stand up a little bit and give it a little more personality. We're going to tuck a little bit up in here, just like so, so that we don't have wrinkles and our hat is going to stand up nice and pretty. Now, this particular hat is a nice, thin, nylon type hat, and what I'm going to do to connect it to my wreath is I'm going to take a little bit of wire in this instance, I'm using what is called paddle wire. It's just a nice, thin wire, but any wire will work. We're going to cut a piece, and what we're going to do is we're going to poke it right through our hat. And then we're going to poke it back through so that we're going to be able to easily wire our hat on. We poked it back through. So now I have a tie. We're going to do this four times. I'm going to have two on the back and two on the front. And this makes it much easier to attach your hat to your wreath. Once again, we're simply poking it through. And poking it back through. Now that we have our hat fixed and ready to go on, I have a wire tie, two on the back and two on the front. We have our bubble wrap in there so that our hat will stand up. Now we're going to place our hat on our witch wreath. This is a nice flexible hat that has a wired edge. And what I like to do is I'm going to put the back part on the back side of my wreath and we're going to take the front part to the front side of the wreath. So I'm going to grab my two wires from over here so that we can pull our hat down and around our wreath and it keeps it securely fastened. 
And we're simply just gonna twist tie, just like we've been doing, onto our wreath, right underneath there. Let me grab these two wires. And we'll twist our hat right on. So there we go. Now our witch hat is attached to our wreath. These are some great witch legs that we have. These have a little tiny skirt on them, but I am going to remove them from that so that I can place them up in there. They come in green or they come in orange. I'm simply going to trim my legs off of the little skirt so that I have them separated. We're gonna take just a little piece of wire. <clears throat> and I'm gonna twist tie the wire around my witch leg. Just like so. Then we will go right up in here and we have our wire frame down in here, so we're just gonna go in here and simply tie our witch leg onto the wire frame underneath our mesh. Just use your wire and twist it just like a bread tie. And we've connected one witch leg. Now we'll put on our other one, same thing, we're simply going to gather the top up, take a piece of wire, wrap it around the top of our leg, and attach it to our wreath. We're going to go right up in here, and we're just going to wire the leg right in. So there you have it. We have our hat, we have our wreath, with our ribbon in it, and we have our legs. Now, for the fun, we're going to decorate her. We have these great brooms that are available. We have these in purple and orange. Check out your local craft store to see what they have available. And we're simply going to put our broom in and use our twist ties to connect the broom to the wreath. These are our original twist ties that we've been using all along to connect our mesh, to connect our ribbon, and now we're using it to connect our broom. And there you go. We've got our broom, we've got our legs, and we've got our hat. So let's embellish a little bit more. I like to take just a few pieces of ribbon Again, I'm cutting my little points into my ribbon. And you can layer these together just real easily, just for a simple decoration. And we're gonna take our piece of wire and wire these together. like so. And now we have a decoration that we can put on our hat. Okay, now we're gonna need our glue gun. We're gonna put just a little bit of glue back behind our ribbon swatches that we made. And we're just gonna glue it right up here to the hat, just like so. Now you can pick any other type of embellishments you want to go on your hat, but I love these big glittery spiders. They are so much fun and add so much attention and detail to your hat. Just let me snip the little tag off. And this time I've chosen a green rhinestone spider. We're gonna put some glue on the back and just put him right up there so he can creep his way up the witch's hat. Isn't that fun? Now, let's add a little bit more to our wreath. 
These are some great glittery spiders, but any spiders will do. They come in several colors. We have purple, orange, and black, and these particular ones come two to a card. So, of course, I'm going to use both. We're going to take one, and we're just going to glue them right up here on the top of our broom. And we'll take the other. We're going to take our other spider and just add him down here for a little more attention. Fluff our ribbons and we're ready to go. Now see, wasn't that easy? You're going to love it. Your friends and family will too. Make sure you join us again for future videos on wonderful ideas that we have to create. Don't forget to visit us at www.dscrafts.com and join us on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you.